hey y'all welcome into the channel i hope everybody's having a good day y'all let's get into it um mm -hmm. yeah we're gonna see what's going on here we got welcome to the future of course bottom line the golden child okay um 1970 could be very significant the year 1970 okay i feel like you're gonna find out something about something that happened in 1970 okay um I love you till the end of all time, okay? Source, I think, is wanting... It says, I love you till the end of time, all of them. I don't know. Take it as it resonates, but that's what I wrote down. Uh, the chosen slogan or motto has gone from touch not my anointed to you cannot... Emphasis on cannot, okay? Um, <laughs> fuck with the chosen or the golden child, okay? Or the golden children. The chosen, the golden children, okay? Um, so I feel the energy, two, two, two. You started from the bottom, now now we here, okay? Started from the bottom, now we hit. Started from the bottom, now the whole team fucking hit, okay? It's that type of vibe, all right? Um, five, five, five. God got us. All right, chosen. All right, golden child, children, golden kids. Okay. Um, God has us. There's something that's going to be occurring in divine timing. Okay. In divine timing. You are a powerful force beyond or behind an entire generation. Okay, you with the South Node energy. What's up with they? Okay, 33. Okay, number 33. So this is your master number. Okay, I feel like you've mastered your South Node. The South Node conflicts, the South Node tension, the South Node battles, the South Node obstacles, the South Node uh, obstacle course. Okay, like you, you've been through that. You mastered that. Okay, you earned that 33. Okay, you are in that energy. We got a nine here. Okay. That's a lot of three energy because you bust that nine down. You got a bunch of threes, right? And so it's like, basically, there's a lot of alignment going on. And it could be causing some type of tension. I'm hearing enlightenment. There's a lot of enlightenment going on. We have 10th house with authority. And we have progressions and journey. Oh, okay. So, I love you till the end of time. All of them. Okay? I don't know. But time has come back up here. I feel like you're telling any tension or anything or anyone from your past. Like, I love y'all, but bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay? Um, and I feel like... They could be talking shit, but just remember that they only talk shit because they feel inferior. Okay. So maybe someone from your past is talking shit, trying to cause some tension. And you're like, kill that noise. Okay. Descendant invitation. And we got Pluto rebirth. All right. I feel like you're like, kill that noise. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, you got Midhaven. You're like, I'm at the damn palace. I'm in the temple. I'm at home. Okay. Okay, this is like Ten of Pentacles vibes as well, um, based off of the card deck, sidebar LOL. Um, it has a palace on it, the Ten of Pentacles card does. Okay, so anyway, so you're at the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like anything from your past, you're telling like, kill that noise. Like, yeah, I don't, yeah, we don't know nothing about that. I don't know you, you don't know me, whatever, whatever. Okay, like, no. And progressions, descendant, so... You're receiving an invitation to go on a new journey or to experience a rebirth somewhere else or with someone else. I feel like with your future, you're experiencing a rebirth with your future. I feel like a rebirth with your manifestation. Okay. All right. You could be very unselfish and people love that quality about you. You're like, yeah, I might be uh, this and that, but I ain't selfish. I don't know. Maybe someone has been selfish. Or there's a selfish energy, okay? And it's got to be the one that's feeling inferior. Maybe the one... Judgment. Okay, so maybe 
I don't know. There's someone in your energy, though. They feel inferior. Okay, they're receiving some type of judgment. I feel like, um, yeah, it's something, someone or something from your past. Okay. So they could be trying to cause you tension because of something that they're being met with. Some truths they're having to meet. But it's like with progressions, descendant, and Pluto, you're like going into some type of unknown territory, okay? You're going into the unknown. And in the unknown, you're gonna come back. You're gonna be it's like you got chose to go go on that on that rocket to space, okay? And when you get up there and you get you're gonna get a bunch of information, you're gonna find out all these downloads or whatever, whatever, and then you're gonna come back and you're gonna share it with everybody. But it's like someone from your past is like, why do they get to be on the rocket ship? Why do they get to be in the boat? Why do they get to be on the plane? Why do they get to be flying with the eagles? Why are they flying high? Why do I got to pass the torch? Why do I got to pass the baton? Why am I passing the mic? And it's like, well, because this person is about to go on a journey. This person answered the call. This person, it's their time. So I feel like maybe that's why you're like, even you yourself is like, yeah, bye. <laughs> I want to say bye, bitch, but <laughs> I didn't want to do it like that. <laughs> okay. All right. You could be leaving some past tension behind. Maybe just something that was causing you some stress. You're just like, look, yeah, we done with that. Okay. We done with that. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we need to see with this. Let's drop some. Let's drop some Zodiac on these. See what's going on. What do we need to see, Spirit? Show me clearly. Give it to me clear. Come here, Luke. This is your father. <laughs> Luke, I am your father. I don't know. Star Wars energy? Somebody could have been watching Star Wars or something about Luke Vader, Skywalker. I don't know what their names are, really, to be honest. But something about the Star Wars people or the stars. Okay, so the first one out is Ophiuchus, South Node, the past. It's like whatever was trying to cause you some type of past tension, it's about to be transformed. Scorpio, they're investigating that. Whatever tried to cause you grief, this square. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, so there was a square, though. And this square, it could have brought up something from the past, okay? Tenth house with Leo. Not amongst adults sometimes. I don't know. Take that as a resignation. But I feel like, oh, um, maybe it has to do with... Not amongst adults, but sometimes. Maybe it has to do with your child, with a child. Something with a child. Okay, Capricorn. Progressions. Journey. Okay, maybe, maybe, Ophelia, because you need to look at something in the past. Okay. Pisces. Invitation. Pisces, you're going to receive an invitation. It's like to look deeper. To go deeper. To get closer. To be more hands-on. Libra. Rebirth. Libra, you're going to be experiencing a rebirth. And at the bottom of the deck, we got Gemini. Gemini, you're at home. You're taking care of, they said, taking care of. You're taking care of. Okay. I feel like someone here is looking at something from their past. How to change something from their past. How to become something new from their past. Someone could just be doing some inner child work. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, in a child work. Because it's something you're trying to achieve. Maybe you're trying to achieve, this says sensitize. Maybe you're wanting love or compassion. 
Maybe you want justice or you want balance. Maybe you're trying to figure out how to balance things out with your inner child or things from your past or someone in your energy is trying to balance out things from their past. Okay, give me a short and sweet for um, Ophiuchus. Thank you. So we got sexual seduction. Okay, so it's something about a child. Scorpio, natural disaster. So if there was something that went on, sexual seduction, natural disaster. I feel like it's because this fire energy is moving in. And I feel like it was that square. I don't know if Ophiuchus or Ophiuchus was at a square with um, Gemini? Or Scorpio? There could have been a square with Scorpio. Maybe a few, because this last square we had, you had a natural disaster. Okay. Leo. What's short and sweet for Leo? You have the advantage. Leo, you have the advantage. Authority, you have the power or control. Okay, Ophiuchus, if someone from your past was doing some sexual seduction, like some type of sex magic or something like that on you, they're experiencing a natural disaster. That's right, she said that's right. Okay, so basically, Scorpio, there's a Scorpio that could be experiencing a natural disaster. Um, it said everyone on board. Hello, hey honey, I'm doing a reading. I'm gonna call you right, right back. All right. So, okay, all right, and Capricorn. Capricorn, they hope you do. Someone could be like, I hope you I hope you did. I hope you was dumb enough to do that. Or and Capricorn is like, I don't do that shit. <laughs> Maybe someone's calling you out and saying you did some type of sex magic. And you're like, I don't do that shit. Pisces. Maybe Pisces lost the fame. Pisces lost their fame. Here's the good news. So it's the good news that a Pisces lost their fame? Misery loves company. Libra. December 7th. Something December 7th is significant for you. Okay. Um, let's get... Well, at the bottom of the deck, it says craftsmanship. So... Oh my goodness. So you have this particular skill where it has you at home, Gemini. All right. You're feeling at home. But then it's like, I don't know if someone tried someone could have tried to do some magic on your gifts. Someone could have did a magic, did a magic. Someone could have did some magic to cause you to have some type of disaster. But it's like you have the advantage because you hope they do lose their fame. Misery loves company. I don't like how that's reading. So I just feel like if you were experiencing, we're going to break it up. So basically, something's being broken up. Okay? The band's not coming back together. The band's not back together or getting back together. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But basically here, um, with sexual seduction, natural disasters, you have the advantage. I feel like if somebody was doing any type of sexual magic and Leo, you were not, or no matter viewer, you were not, you've got the advantage. Now, someone's like, they hope you do. But this person, I feel like this person, it's whoever this is, they hope you do person. This may not be a Capricorn, but they're toxic, okay? Um, this person is 
they're talking shit, but it's their inferiority that's talking. They feel inferior, okay? They feel inferior as it relates to you. This could be a Capricorn from your past that feels inferior, Ophiuchus, okay? Um, oh, they feel inferior because they've lost their popularity or their fame. They're not the it girl. Okay. So they want you to be miserable because they're miserable. So you could be trying to balance out some energy that somebody is projecting on you or like uh, some energy that's being, I feel like this energy is being brought up so it could be addressed. Like you're calling out some energy or something. I'm also getting the energy like your work speaks for itself. They laughed at that. That's funny. But that's what I'm getting. Like your work speaks for itself. Okay, so let's see what gods and guardians are here. I wasn't sure if I was going to use them, but I am. I really, really am. Matter of fact, no, you know what? No, I want to do these. I don't want to use those right at this reading. I don't know what reading this is going to be, but we here. Okay, two of coins, sexual seduction. Someone could have juggled you for sex. Okay, or use sex to juggle you maybe they would use sex to bait you in okay Ophiuchus someone from your past I feel like they're being investigated this person who was doing this or this dirty John okay it's dirty John so dirty John and his partner are being investigated so with the four of wands you're secure you're safe. You're in a safe space. You're safe from any of that natural disaster or tower energy that they were trying to bring you because it's actually being brought down on them. That's why you have the advantage. Three of wands. Is that three of wands? Yes, three of wands. So the obstacles are behind you. You're moving in a new direction. You could be keeping your cards close to your chest. Okay, Ten of Swords. But this person, they're experiencing an ending. Maybe they were hoping you would experience this ending or this death. But in all actuality, it's like they're the ones experiencing the death. They're the ones experiencing the ending. Oh, okay. So that's why they're upset. Because they've lost their fame. They've lost, someone's lost their stardom or something. We got the world here. A Virgo could be involved. I feel like... Oh, they lost their fame because they were trying to end the world. Someone was trying to like run the world into the ground. Okay. We got four swords here. Someone could have just been talking bad about a Virgo. It could be easy as that um, or about the chosen or something like that or the community or talking about bad about someone in the community. I don't know. Um, but misery loves company. Four swords, this Libra energy. So four swords, it's like. That's 4-4 four, four energy. Oh. Oh my God, I just realized something, y'all. Oh no, that's a 3 and that's a 4. Okay. So, give me a minute. Three of Wands. Four of Swords. You're healing. You're resting. You could be taking some time out. Source could be like, just rest. Just get you some extra Z's in. Um, maybe you need to get you some extra Z's in because they're doing this sex magic. You don't even know what's going on, right? Uh, but the divine is like stepping in and they're like going to end. They're bringing an end to it. Someone could have been taunting you. Like, I hope you do bring an end to my sex magic I'm doing on you. You like the fuck? <laughs> Well, end it, okay? Uh, close, uh, over, game over, okay? Like, stop the big red button, you know what I'm saying? Like, someone's hitting the buzzer here, okay? They're hitting the buzzer. I feel like the universe is hitting the buzzer on this person. The universe is calling time. Confirmation. And then because the universe is calling time, it's going to uh, it's gonna free you up. It's about to allow you to get out of this Pro, pro, 
projection of energy that someone's trying to project on you. Like someone's trying to project their woes on you or blame you for their failure or bl blame you from their fall from grace. It ain't your fault. It's not your fault. At the bottom of the deck, we got six of cups. Yeah, it's someone from your past. Someone from your past or from your person's past is trying to blame you for their demise. And it's like, no, nah, you, you did that all by yourself. I was over here working hard for this toilet paper. <laughs> I was over here, okay, having sleepless nights for this toilet paper. I was doing what I had to do. I was sacrificing. I was um, working hard. That's why I'm at home. I was working hard on my skill, hard on my craft. You're like, no, nah, that ain't for me, bro. Uh -huh. That's yours. Okay, I feel like somebody almost tried to, like, pass you their karma, like, this not my karma. This your karma. You like the fuck? <laughs> Return to sender. Okay. This is Thursday. I'm returning uh, Returning this. Oh, okay. They like, this is Thursday. Yes, I'm returning this. I feel like every Thursday is going to be Return to sender. Like, no, this ain't mine. This yours. Okay. I feel like it's a un on a universal level. Like, the universe be like, look, yeah, nah, we ain't doing that. Okay. Maybe somebody tried to do some magic on you right before Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> right before throwback thursday like y'all didn't know you ain't no sit down you ain't no sit down <laughs> it's like that type of vibe so spirit could be like just rest okay because you're being recognized just rest you just chill there's nothing for you to do all this is going back and then if the work is done like it's like there's nothing for you to do okay so it's going to be a thing of the past, okay? So we have superhuman. Yeah, because you're superhuman. Oh, Fucus. Superhuman by Chris Brown. Okay? Someone from your past could see you as a superhuman. Okay? I don't know if I really like the vibe. But we got shine on supernatural. Okay? Shine on. Um, This is by Rio. R-I-O. Okay? Scorpio. That's the song you need to listen to. Okay, something's been torn. Okay, something or someone's been torn. Okay, maybe you're feeling torn or the Scorpio's feeling torn. Okay, or someone's torn about you, Scorpio. But anyway, we got golden. Okay, Leo, Jill Scott vibes. Living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. Okay, so Capricorn, we got you're one in a million. You are best i ever had. okay capricorn either you are feeling like the best someone ever had or someone's feeling like you're the best they ever had okay all right or you feel like somebody is the best you ever had okay highest okay pisces you need to listen to highest by the baby and kevin gates pisces has been recognized as the highest Ooh, so that's why they lost their fame. Somebody lost their seat to you. Oh, well, that's why. Oh, shoot. Okay, so you just need to, you just, it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. It's like, <laughs> like your victory is someone else's demise. I, I did a reading and I titled it that. It's that type of vibe. Like the higher up you're going, um, the, the, the further from grace they're falling. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But we got Beautiful. You need to listen to Beautiful Libra by DJ Khalid. Okay. On all these songs that come out for you guys, make sure you check out the video. Okay. And two more came out. We got Nobody Does It Better. Okay. And really, really. Okay. So basically, yeah, Gemini, this is you over here. Focusing on your gifts, focusing on work, okay? Focusing on your home, nesting even, okay? You're in a nesting energy, but um, I feel like after auditions or after initiation or after whatever the lineup, okay? Basically, it's like nobody does it better. It's been decided. Nobody does it better than you, and your diamonds really, really do shine. So I feel like an energy of like, you are that mogul. Yeah. You are that mogul because you're, you're the, you are like the role model almost. Okay. 
I don't know. Take it as it resonates, but I'm feeling that vibe. At the bottom of the deck, we got you change me, baby. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you're a changer. You are a changer. Okay. Scorpio at the center. Hmm. Pisces, you could be a spiritual transform transformer. I don't know what that is, but a spiritual transformer. I guess that would make sense for me if I be in my bumblebee energy, right? Then I'm a transformer. I connect with Bumblebee because Bumblebee is the one that connects um, like a radio. He talks through music, right? And I feel like that's just, I mean, it's my that's my gift. I can talk through lyrics. I can talk through music, okay? Um, that's how I be saying, like, you don't have to say like, oh, you, yeah, you, like, anyway. Basically, I feel like, yes, that's the vibe. Yes. The golden child. <laughs> All right. I feel like this is the golden child reading. And look at you over here in this mid haven. Okay. The golden child energy, the palace, all that gold back there in the background. That's the sun. All right. So it's like you're under the care of the sun. Oh, excuse me. And the sun is living their life like it's golden. So the sun is shining in your life spiritual belches y'all i'm sorry leo there could be a leo very significant to you the sun is shining in your life all right okay well this has been your reading i hope you guys enjoyed okay so welcome to the future all right i'm gonna have to rewind this and yeah i don't like the fact that your south note is coming up or out in the future but i like the fact that whatever it is you're progressing away from it and you're going to be experiencing a rebirth. So no matter what this is that's coming up from your past, um, you're going to overcome. Okay? You are, God already, you just remember the promise and keep going. Okay? That's why you're over here and you're safe. You're over here and you're ready to cross-pollinate. You could be expanding or growing. You could be ready to collaborate, right? It's a, it's a weird type of vibe, but just continue to focus on your craft. I hope this reading makes sense. Be sure to like, share, comment, or subscribe. See you next time. Bye.